Welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Emax motors. Now, all of these models in front of us here, we have a Nighthawk Pro that we've looked at on the channel. We also have the very first 250 quad that we built with a CC3D inside it. And we also have our ZMR 250 that we built as part of our SP3 series. All three of these craft share one common element. And that element is this motor the Emax 2204 2300 kV. Now they all are using slightly different size props and I'll talk about that in a second, but I've had a subscriber request asking to give a little bit more information and to kind of do a little review of these motors. And as I'm such a fan and have used them for all over the summer and put all of these models through their paces, I think it's about time that we talk about what these things are like to not only set up and use, but to live with day to day. It's worthwhile going through each of these models in turn to give you an idea of the kind of performance I'm getting because I'm using everything from a six inch prop with a three inch pitch up to a six inch prop with a 4.5 inch pitch and getting different experiences. So the green prop is actually connected to the CC3D 250 model that we made back at the very beginning of the year. That model weighs about 604 grams and it flies nice. It's a very gentle FPV flyer. It's one of my favorite for FPV flying, but it isn't a rocket ship. Those six by three inch props that came as part of that kit were great and they provide a nice flight time. The next model that we got that came with the same motors was actually the Emax Nighthawk Pro itself. Came with exactly the same motors, but I was surprised to see that on this one, they had a six inch by 4.5 inch prop. Now this Nighthawk Pro weighs about 520 grams with a battery and it is an absolute hoot. It's really, really aggressive with tons and tons of performance. It's a lot lighter than the other model and the extra one and a half inches of pitch over the other model that we've just spoke about makes it really, really powerful. So when we built the third model that's on the desk that we're looking at here today, which is this one here, this is my ZMR 250. We built this as part of the Seriously Pro series. It's packed with every bit of electronic you can think of because that's what we did in the series. Uh, the ZMR 250 is about 675 grams. She was, she's the heaviest of the three on the table with a battery installed and the Mobius on it. But again, that's running exactly the same motor. This time it's running six by four inch props. And that is a nice compromise on this size of model for both power and endurance. Because using a prop with less pitch will give you slightly longer flight times. Using a prop with more pitch will give you far more aggressive options and faster flying. So what do I think of the motors? Well, having lived with them throughout the entire summer, I've got to say I'm impressed. And there's another set of these in the kit waiting to build the next model that we're going to do reviews on. They provide fantastic value for money. They work really well. I've not had a bad one yet out of the box. And as you can see, I've had quite a few of these now. And they just seem to take all the knocks that's dealt. Some of these models have been crashed and smashed into all kinds of things. And the motors just keep on ticking. The shafts don't get bent because of the way they're designed. I haven't snapped anything and everything's been working. The other thing I really like about the motors is that it does give you the option of changing these prop sizes and it'll handle it fine. Now on the ones that we've built, we're actually using Emax 12 amp ESC uh, with Simon K on them. I think they've stopped doing the Simon K ones. I think they're now BL Heli, but they work beautifully for all three of these prop combinations. You might be able to get away with a slightly smaller one if you're running the six by three inch prop, but what I would say is that if you're going to get some of these motors, get yourself some 12 amp ESCs, and that way you can start out with a lower prop size. If you want to improve the performance and sacrifice a bit of your flight time, then you can go all the way up to six by 4.5 and really add a lot of additional performance to the craft without changing your motors or ESC setups. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.